What's up, everybody, and welcome to an all-new episode of Casters of Horror. I'm Chris Mess. I'm Shane, and this week we encounter some satanic Hispanics. Aye, I aye, swear, aye. that's the name of the movie, all right? It's, 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 it is the <laughs> name of the movie. Yeah, uh, this film just came out. Uh, it says, according to IMDb 2022, but this film came out, I believe, this year in 2023, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Do, do uh, we go by in, what IMDb says? At least in the U.S., yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, this was directed by Alejandro Brujas, Mike Mendez, and Gigi Saul Guerrero. Um, it also stars uh, Efren Ramirez. <clears throat> you guys remember him from uh, uh, Napoleon Dynamite. We have Greg Gun- Gunberg from Heroes and other TV shows that I know you've seen him in. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, we've got a, uh, 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 <laughs> I totally blanked out on his name. Uh, uh, Rodrigues. Um, oh, come on. From from the Nerdist. Uh, oh, I don't know. What is his name? Oh, I'm t- now I now I got to look. They don't even have him in the top cast. That sucks. Uh, let's see. Anyway, I'm gonna look for his name while you, while you, uh, while you kind of give us a synopsis of what this film is, Shane. Uh, sure. So this <laughs> is a this is actually an like an anthology film. Yeah, uh, it's got um four different segments, uh, four totally different stories, kind of uh, book ended and interspersed with an overarching uh, narrative. Yeah. Um, takes Jonah place. Ray Rodriguez, Jonah. That's oh, Jonah, right? Oh, really? Jonah okay. Rodriguez. I, I, I didn't recognize him. Jeez. I haven't seen any Nerdist stuff for so long. Oh man. So yeah, anthology, four separate yeah. parts, done by Please. done by four separate directors. Um, clearly, <laughs> clearly, um, these stories are all written uh, based. There's a, there's a gentleman called the Traveler. Um, he's played by Efren and, uh, he, uh, he's telling them the stories of, of, uh, this evil entity that is chasing him down. And it goes into all these other tales that, uh, that he has these stories from. So yeah. Yeah, cause uh, basically he's been at the beginning, you know, they, they find him locked up in this room and uh, the police do. And so he gets yeah. like, arrested and they're questioning him and he has out on the table, they have it on the table, like all these trinkets and things he had with him. And yep. so they're like, what is this? Right. And he's like, well, let me tell you a story. And they're like, no, 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 no more stories. And then he yeah. goes into the story. Yeah. yeah. But um, what did you think of this film altogether? This one's been hyped up a little bit. Um and it's been on our radar for quite a while. But oh, yeah. what what were your uh, what were your thoughts on this one? Uh, overall, I actually really like this one. I'm not a huge fan of anthology films because I think a lot of times they can be hit or miss. And I I do think that that's kind of true with this one in some ways. Um, but I did I did enjoy all the segments and the overall story and. I mean, I don't know. Overall, I thought this was a win. You know, it, it bounces. I had texted you at one point being like, wow, there's a massive tonal shift from the yeah. first segment to the second. Yeah. And and you were like, just wait. And boy, you weren't joking. This one goes <laughs> from arguably like the, the scary segment. I'll say the yeah. scary segment to yeah. kind of like a zany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, clearly the more comedic segment to yeah. one that's just like really messed up. Yeah, to one that's just bonkers. I guess. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, yeah. So the bonkers yeah. segment having Jonah Ray in it. So. Oh, uh, is that the one he was in? Okay. Yeah, yeah. He was okay. the wielder of the hammer. Um, uh, oh, but, okay. <laughs> okay. But anyway, uh, I really dug this one. I yeah. liked it a lot. Um, I thought they had a, it seemed like they had a lot of fun with it, um, which in turn, I had a lot of fun with it. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. it was, I, I thought it was really well done. I thought that there was, uh, funny, funny aspects to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, then, yeah, there was some dork, 
dark stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say, like, in particular, the first and third segments are are definitely the more serious ones. Yeah. You know, the second one, pretty much straight up comedy from start to finish. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And the fourth one takes a turn, though, because the fourth one starts out pretty, like, serious. And then all of a sudden, like, a flip a switch and... Yep. It and goes it just goes to just <laughs> out there. Yeah. But yeah, I yeah, know I really, really dug this film. Uh, yeah. It's, it's one I'd probably end up watching again. Yeah, I, um, so. I, I like, I'm, I'm a fan of anthologies just because they're small vignettes that you can just kind of take in and yeah. you can just watch segments of it and be like, Oh, you've got to see this scene and just show somebody yeah. like a 20 minute segment of something. And, that's yeah. that's kind of what I dig about it, but and it's also uh, the sort of thing like where you don't even necessarily have to have watched the the, the, the interspersed story, right? Each of these segments would stand completely stand alone. alone. Oh yeah, you know? oh yeah, and for sure. it's not really spoilerific. They could do more of these, and I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, if, if they do, and I would absolutely watch another one. Oh, because, for yeah. sure, yeah, for, for sure. sure. There's yeah, a lot no. more to do, and and since. None of the segments are really connected, like really. Yeah. And you could tell another set of four totally unconnected stories and they'd be fine. Yeah. All from the view of the traveler again. Yeah. So I, yeah. I know I would, I would dig it. I would, I would certainly be into that, but yeah, let us, too. let us know what you guys think. Have you guys seen satanic Hispanics and, uh, the movie and, yeah. um, and yeah, not to be confused with actual loco. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think of this film. And while you're uh, down there in the comments, leaving us the clicky clickies, make sure to leave a uh, like and subscribe while you're down there. Hit the buttons. Hit them. Hit them. Ding, ding. Just ding. like that. Ding, ding over Shane's face. That's right. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, I dug this one. I, I really okay. did. And and yeah. I hope that they do. They hope that they do more. Um, but we'll see. We will definitely. I haven't heard anything about anything either. new, but we'll keep our ears out and we'll let you know. But uh, that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know we did. So, uh, yeah. Until next time, I'm Chris Mess. I'm Shane. Get the hell out of here. We'll see you guys. Adios. Ay, ay, ay.